everybody, welcome back to Country Girl. My name is Kathy Jarvis, and today it's a cooler day. As you can tell, I've got a long, uh, not long sleeve, but short sleeve shirt on. And I've been waiting for a day like today because I need to clean out the greenhouse and get ready to plant or transplant the fall and plant seeds, some of the fall crops. So this is what we're doing today. I already started a little bit, if you remember correctly, I had tomatoes all the way up to the front. So I've got these two beds up here pretty much cleared out. I'm going to finish clearing those out and I'm going to take up the um, broccoli and the cauliflower from last season and the cabbage, finish harvesting those. The stuff on this side is still doing rather well. The Swiss chard and the kale need to be cut back. The eggplant is still producing and my peppers are still producing. So I'll leave those be, I'll just clean them up. But these will stay until they finally quit producing. And I'm gonna try to winter the peppers over if I can. But the tomatoes, they're, they've got 15 days, or approximately 20 days before our first frost. So I'm going to take and cut all the tops off of them clear this path completely because all these little flowers will not have time to uh, set fruit and I doubt very seriously if all the green ones will be able to turn but we'll leave them on the vine as long as possible and the night that they predict a heavy frost that's when I'll come out and I'll pick all the green tomatoes and everything but right now I'm just going to be working on cleaning this up and putting in my new trellis hopefully it will work I'm putting it t-post on the inside of the beds and I'm gonna put four two posts in each end so I can run a wire or a rope across the top and use that to stake my tomatoes next year what I'm hoping to do is have the t-bar going across here and then attaching a bamboo stick to the rope across the top and that way they can climb up the bamboo post. When they get to the top, I'll just top them off or move them one way or the other a little bit. But that's the plan. We'll see if it works. The reason I'm putting them on the inside of the box instead of the outside is because all the weight will be into the center. And if it does fail, it will not, hopefully will not ruin the box. All right, so. That's the plan, that's what I'm doing. I've already worked out in the bee garden and got it all weeded and put a couple of transplants in here of flowers I had. I had some English, some jassa daisies and some English daisies that I had to transplant in here and they're all looking really well. So I did that earlier this morning. My next thing after I get the greenhouse done, which I doubt if I get to today, will be to finish trimming the weeds around the uh, melon patch. And that way this part of the garden from, that you see from the road when you come straight in will look presentable again. So I'm gonna get to work and I will meet you back here afterwards and show you what I've done. Bye for now. Well, I did not get to film it last night because it got too dark by the time I got done. But the greenhouse is looking much better. I had to water these things twice yesterday because it was so dry. And it looks like I'm going to have to water them again today before I plant. But I've got this bed and this bed almost completely cleared. Leaving these tomatoes, they are still got some tomatoes. I'm letting them finish ripening. Actually, the celery that was underneath there actually made it. So we'll see if it continues to perk up and grow now that it's not covered in tomato vines anymore. I do have six tomatoes that are still needing some attention 
before I can get to my um, Brussels spots back there. They're back there. I just can't get to them yet. So we'll see about cleaning this up. They don't have many tomatoes on them. So I'm kind of waiting for the tomatoes to ripen on this part. And then I can cut in. Because um, there's no other tomatoes other than that. So we're going to do that. But today I'm going to concentrate on planting the fall crops in here. Like I said, I watered this twice yesterday. And it's... It's getting dry already so again plant those today I did get the melon patch taken care of looks much better so that is today's project so we got the seeds out and we'll do some planning. I could finish working on the um, cabbage, uh, not cabbage, but the tomatoes. But I, I think it's important that I get these transplanted out. So we're going to transplant and the first thing I want to transplant is going to be some bib lettuce. Now I've got these started in little trays, so we're just going to pluck them out. And put them into the garden space, into a row. These have been in the other greenhouse, so this isn't going to be a big shock for them. It's just take them from one greenhouse to another. I'm going to put the lettuces in here. This is going to be a whole bed of lettuces and spinach. I've got bib lettuce, red lettuce, some black seed of Simpson, some rocket, and then I'm going to plant some spinach and some, I'm going to try some broccoli rob. It might be, I don't know if it's going to work on this season or not, but that's what's going to go in this bed and that's what I'm planning on planting today. So, I'm going to finish planting these out and then I will be back and show you the finished results. That. Okay. Oh gosh. All right. We've got the garden, fall garden planted, or the winter garden planted. I transplanted the bib lettuce and the red velvet lettuce. The black leaf Simpson, and then I also seeded another half a row of black leaf Simpson. Seeded two rows of Rocket. Transplanted the Space um, Hybrid Spinach, and planted two rows, uh, sowed two rows of the Spinach Bloomingdale. I transplanted some Swiss chard down here among the leftover tomatoes. And I also transplanted the um, kale that I had. I'm not worried about them because when these tomatoes are done, instead of pulling them up, I'll just cut them off at the root and won't be disturbing the uh, plants. On the other side, I did 
two rows of turnips, a row of broccoli rob, two rows of Alaska peas. Now these are shelling peas that can take a light frost. So that's the reason I chose the Alaska one since it is a little bit later in the season made a quick bamboo trellis it's not really super sturdy but it doesn't have to be for peas it's not like the tomatoes that get really super heavy and then over here i planted a row of beets well, actually there's four rows of beets here and two rows of actually five rows of beets and two rows of um, radishes in this area this over here i'm going to there are six tomato plants in this group. I'm going to leave them right now because I really don't need that extra bed at this time. Um, I've got Brussels sprouts in the small greenhouse, which I plan on transplanting here. But I can always transplant them into the small greenhouse if I have to. No big deal. And these have got very little tomatoes on them, but they do and they're ripening up as soon as these get to the point where I can pick them all. I will cut this back. That way it will allow those green ones over there to go ahead and mature. And I'll be able to get into the Brussels sprouts and take care of them. And then the only thing I got left to do in here is I've got some um, cauliflower and some broccoli and some cabbage transplants that I wanna put in here and see if they'll work for the winter. So, hopefully you learned something to so, experiment this year. Uh, I've grown these things in the small greenhouse before, but this is the first year I've gotten the big greenhouse, so I've gotten to be able to grow a lot more. So, hopefully all these will grow. Hopefully we'll have food throughout the winter to get us through the hunger gap, and along with the, what's in the freezer and while I'm dehydrated, I'm hoping that we're going to be okay. Um, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you learned anything from the video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. It would be very nice. I'd very appreciate it. And remember, it doesn't cost anything. It just lets you, you know, if you hit the bell icon, it lets you know where I'm going to be on next. So you can see what I'm up to next. So remember, always dream big and follow that dream. Bye for now.